Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Cordy, and I'm Janita, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So former unified British heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua will be going into his highly anticipated rematch, unification heavyweight rematch, with current unified Mexican heavyweight world champion Andy Ruiz Jr. December 7th in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the sport of boxing has suffered a few losses as of late. Uh, most recently, uh, the boxing world has lost junior middleweight uh, contender Patrick Day, who succumbed to injuries, brain injuries. Uh, he suffered in his fight with uh, Crowell. Um, and, uh, you know, um, it's re really, really sad, man. It's just, I'm lost for words, man. Um, uh, with that said, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua may be on the verge of wearing a mouthpiece that's set to um, change the game, change the sport of boxing. It's a mouthpiece to prevent uh, and calculate, you know, big shots that you have taken in sparring and in fights, you know, um, to give the physicians and the people ringside and your team, you know, um, a gauge of how much head trauma you have actually taken in sparring and in a fight. Um, you know, uh, the company has reached out to Anthony Joshua. They want Anthony Joshua to be the first person, you know, to sport this um, mouthpiece you know, uh, in his rematch with Andy Ruiz. Uh, they feel like it's a big stage. It's a huge fight. You know, uh, it's a way to um, bring attention and awareness to what could possibly save lives of these boxers, right? Um, this um, method, you know, uh, is to possibly, you know, um, like I said, gauge the um, the uh, uh, the amount of, of trauma that our athlete has taken. They use it in rugby. Uh, they're looking to start using it in the National Football League, and uh, they definitely want to use it in the sport of boxing. You know, the sport of, lo sport of boxing has taken a few uh, um, tragic losses as of late. You know, um, boxing has been rocked by four deaths in the recent months. American Patrick Day passed away uh, last week after suffering brain injuries. Russians Maximus uh, Dadashov, Argentina's Hugo uh, Santi San Santillian, and... Uh, Bulgaria's Boris uh, Stanchov, uh, also, they all have passed away. He passed away in July. You know, so four um, major uh, tragedies in the sport of boxing, you know, as of late since July, man. And this is just not, you know, um, it's not a good look, you know. Um, so for this, this mouthpiece is set to, um, to gauge, you know, uh, how much trauma, you know, the fighter has actually taken, right? Um, the doctor... Name is uh, Luce Moore. Um, he's an advocate for new technology, which uses a chip to insert into a mouth guard to provide live analysts uh, of blows to the head, sending the data to a nearby computer, uh, ringside physicians, and the team, right? Uh, this is um, going to give them a direct look and a direct track of how much uh, trauma the, the athlete has taken, right? Um so, you know, they're looking to, to change the game to make this, the sport of boxing safer. You know, uh, it's not too many drastic changes you can make to make the sport, box, uh, the sport of boxing uh, safer than what it is. You know, um, but, uh, you know, Rob McCracken had came out and stated that he believed Anthony Joshua was concussed before the fight and uh, during the fight. You know, um, and uh, the technology is ready to, to be used. And the hope is that the one day the mouth guard will be tailored to individual fighters in their own concussion threshold. You know, so, you know, um, it's tailored for individuals. You know, um, everybody's different, obviously. You know, you get some boxes that, you know, withstand, you know, uh, punishment and they walk around fine. And then you get other boxes like, uh, unfortunately, Patrick Day's situation, who I know personally, you know, um, result in a, a, a tragic situation. So, you know, um, they're trying to clean up, you know, uh, help, you know, protect these fighters in the best manner, in the best way they can. And uh, this is, um, he's reached out to Anthony Joshua as he knew Anthony Joshua was concussed, as Rob McCracken stated. Rob McCracken is Anthony Joshua's trainer, you know. Um, so, you know, uh, that's the reason why they reached out to um, Anthony Joshua and hopes, uh, <clears throat> it's called Oprah. 
All Pro Plus, you know, um, it's a chip directly inserted into the mouth guard. You know, it won't have any effect. The, the, the fighter won't, you know, feel it. He won't feel any difference or anything of that nature. It's not going to be uncomfortable, you know. So um, hopefully this is a step in the right direction. You know, let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. This is your boy, Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to new media. Shouts out to black media row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. If you haven't purchased your Focus Ball, go purchase your Focus Ball at thefocusball.com. Perfect for hand-eye coordination, perfect for accuracy in combat sports. Use the promo code Blue Blood Sports TV and get 10% off. The Blue Blood Sports TV, baby, from the